Okay, so what then would you say would be some of the common elements that you would identify in all successful public awareness campaigns? Well, I identify about nine of them in the report, and I would say some of the key ones uh, that we talked about with the diamond trade or with uh, the elephants and the ivory um, are having a distinct message, whether it's a jarring message, as both of those were, or whether it's something that's clever, like the Antiquities Coalition with your uh, 10 most wanted uh, antiquities. Um, having that um, a clear message that gives people something that tells you what it's about and tells you what you want to do about it um, is, is really important to successful campaigns. Um, I think they all also use both traditional media and they go around traditional media to get to, to people where they're watching on their own computers or on their own phones. So whether you're putting out a press release about the news of the day or putting out a report about um, the diamond trade or putting out a report about uh, the prevalence of looting of antiquities that the mainstream media may deem to be well-researched and a, a something serious that can be um, put in the regular newspaper or featured on the evening news, but they're also doing things like um, coming up with a way to post an, antiqu an antiquity to your own Facebook page uh, so that there is um, engagement in current social media tools. So there are a whole host of ways these days that people can get at their constituencies and the best campaigns are the ones that are able to tap into them um, and tap into them regularly, which brings me, I would say, to one of the other really key things is making sure there's kind of a steady drumbeat. Um, you can't have a one and done as with any kind of advertising campaign or public awareness campaign. Repetition is something that is, is very important to your success. So I think as, as you go into it, you have to plan for it um, and figure out what the overall message is going to be and then what the components are going to be over time so that you don't get out there, get everybody all excited about it, and then they never hear from you again. Or they hear from you next month or you know, two months from now. There's not going to be that continuity of messaging that's required to, to get people engaged and, and, and interested. Now that doesn't mean as you're planning that you can't take advantage of individual opportunities. For example, last week there was the there were reports in the mainstream media about the theft of the antiquities in the German museums. That's something that organizations would have an opportunity to make a statement about perhaps go on the TV news or be quoted in the newspaper about because it's happening today and it reinforces the message. Um, so looking for those opportunities at the same time you have a planned program is, I think, really one of the foundations of a successful campaign. And then I think probably the most important thing is having a call to action. Um, if you get people excited and they then don't have anything to do with it, um, you know, you've, you've kind of wasted your effort. And it can be something simple. You know, if you look at the MS campaign, the dunk for MS from a couple of years ago, you know, that was just kind of this imaginative thing that really took hold on social media and had everybody talking about MS. Um, and I think the same, you know, can be true that there was a call to action, you know, dunk, um, you know, call on somebody else to be dunked. Uh, and I think that this, the same is, is true uh, with, uh, with any campaign that you want to be successful. 
that call to action, that is really important, isn't it, Claire? And we have a call to action for uh, the audience here today around our 10 Most Wanted Antiquities project that we're just starting. So nine recommendations, all of them important, all of them things that you can learn about and put into action at your own institutions and for your own messaging. We urge you to have a look at Claire's just published policy uh, paper. It's at our AC Think Tank website at thinktank.theantiquitiescoalition.org. And please sign up for us uh, with us to receive our policy briefs, our public awareness updates, and all the content, content we generate and advocacy we promote at theantiquitiescoalition.org. Thanks, Claire, so much for your terrific tour of how to run an effective public awareness campaign and for your board service as well. It's been a pleasure working with you on all this. The AC couldn't do what we do without you.